Uh, here we go. Sean is going to try a full case of these helmets. An eight box case of mini helmets. Here we go, Sean K. If you're live, let's do it, man. Ten boxes. Let's see if we get anything worth mentioning here. Those two helmets may be broken. Oh, Sage, I think I have five or six helmets left. Five left. I have one case and five left. These are my last eight. I got five out there. Bong's off work. He's driving home on the train, Ed Rim. He's not here. Oh, this is pretty cool. Joe Theismann. I haven't seen this before. He put LT got me when he broke his leg. I'm one of the few people on this live stream that was watching that game live that night on a Monday night. I was die-hard Redskin fan, watching live. And no one believes me, but before that game, I watched so many Redskin games, before that game, as a child, before that game, I, I'd only known Joe Theismann to play quarterback, and I actually thought, for some reason, I didn't even know the backup quarterback was. And I was thinking, who plays if he gets hurt? I swear I thought that. And he goes down, breaks his leg. And Jay Schrader came in, I believe. I believe it was Jay Schrader. He came in as backup. <laughs> Tim Brown. You watched it live too, R90? Rick Moranis, what, from Little Shop of Horrors or Ghostbusters? That's true, Tar Heel Kenny. I became a diehard Redskin fan when I was a kid because they only aired the Redskin games. So I just love the Redskins. No matter what their season was like too. They, if they had a bad season, they still aired it. Even if there was like teams fighting for position for playoffs, they'd still air it. I used to love the Redskins. Patriot, Nikhil Harry. I love them so much. You probably can name any jersey in the 80s. Like, I, I've played this game before, and I know just about every player by their jersey number in the 80s. Just about. <laughs> Who's Robert Westbrook? You're thinking of a different Westbrook. Yeah. wasn't Robert Westbrook. Andre Reed. Kind of hard to see that corner blocks it. Andre Reed autograph. Art Monk was the man, R90. Number 81. He was my favorite wide receiver. Gary Clark was up there though, 84. Uh, but I loved Art Monk.
Dan Hampton. I wonder if Dan Hampton gets a discount at the Hampton Inns. I'm like, come on, man. Our family started this way back in the day. Hall of Fame 2002. O.J. Simpson should be in here somewhere, shouldn't he, R90? There we go. All the usual suspects here in a row Andre Reed, Tim Brown, Dan Hampton, Mel Blunt. We're gonna have to have some big ones in these last four. Some new faces. Coolest one so far is the Joe Theismann. Need a nice Tom Brady helmet. Jerry Rice, Joe Montana. There's a good one, Jerry Rice. A little smudge above the R there, slightly. Nice helmet there though, Sean. You got Jerry. Another nice one, Bo Jackson. Now the good ones are starting to pop. Bo Jackson. Behind who, Big Hitless? Adam Thielen? <laughs> Behind Diggs? Hey, something's in this one. Oh, cool. Jim Kelly, Thurman Thomas, and Andre Reed triple autograph. This team's a dynasty in Africa. From the late mid to late 90s, they're a dynasty in Africa. Like Jim Kelly drew a wiener underneath his name. Not sure why. Triple autograph for the Bills. That's a cool one too. And the last three, Jerry Rice, Bo Jackson, and a triple. Can we end with Juice or Tom Brady? Yeah, they're Super Bowl winner <laughs> in Africa. All the kids got a new Super Bowl Buffalo Bills champion uh, shirt every year. Champion Super Bowl champions of the world, Buffalo Bills. Oh, another nice one. This one has a price on it. Is that what he paid for it? $105? I don't know. Odell Beckham Giants autograph. That old loser. Thanks, Sean Cott. I appreciate it, man. I'll get this out. Uh, I'll get it all packaged on the way tonight.